Welcome to the Big Bad Shark Show. We are delighted to have you join us today for this very special guest. Here with us today, Mrs. Gangsta Gammy. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a delight. Uh, we were thrilled to get you booked for our show. We have been trying for months to try and get you here. The one and only Gangsta Gammy. How does it feel to be a boomer experiencing virtual reality? Tell us. Well, I'm very familiar with the abacus. Oh, good. That's how you learned how to do your basic mathematics. No, that's that's where my brain pretty much stays. So oh, this and algebra was very difficult. I just like to do my art and have somebody lead me by the nose. Okay, well, that sounds great. Through this, um, I mean. I definitely can be one of those people that can help lead you by the nose or by the hand, whatever it takes. It's <laughs> not going to ever happen. Okay, let's get back to serious topics here. Yeah, as a boomer going in VR, um, it's it's not something very commonplace is what I'm getting at. And so you've adapted quite well. No. And no, you haven't adapted quite well, no? <laughs> yeah, I, I can get through um, Vermilion really, really well. That is one of your preferred programs. I do have a couple yeah. pieces that you've done from that. Let's take a look real quick. Let's How did you do that? I've got producers. Let's take a look. Where do I look? Do I look? Oh, oh, right there. Right there. Okay. Wow. Yeah, those are just beautiful. Wow. That's excellent work. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are a talented artist. Yes, yes I yes. am. You are. And I understand that you have a couple pieces outside of virtual medium. These collages, as you call them. How do you do that? Well, I will tell you a little story. Oh, shit. Okay, go ahead. A friend of mine from high school saw my collage and wrote to me and said, I don't understand how you can create this if you're blind. And so I said, I'm not totally blind. I can still see color and I can still see shape. And I cut out a little bit of paper over and over again for between 40 and 60 hours till I smile. Uh, I see. Also understand, we have a couple of those collages right here. Let's take a look at these magnificent pieces. You're going to love this. Those are very cool. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. I keep going back to it and fixing things. I am an art creator that is a recovering perfectionist. I too can be a little yeah, bit perfectionist and I just don't know yes, where yes. I get that shit from. So I also understand that you also have two of your best pieces of work are still in existence roaming this earth. Your two children, is that correct? I don't remember. Wow. You know, I'm sure on some level that they're at the forefront of almost everything you do and I'm sure that they're the best pieces of work that you've ever created I just saw an 80 year old woman on America's Got Talent yeah you know I think that as we progress and as we get more tolerant of women and age across the board we're gonna see yeah. more shapes yeah. more varieties of people and we should yeah there needs to be more representation I think so too absolutely well, and well, women of any age any age you know they've just always been treated like second-class citizens and it really what me off. Uh, when I got married uh, everything everything I earned would belong to my husband that's incredible if I ever wanted to get a checking account or buy a piece of property which I did I had to have his signature thankfully these laws have changed and we are getting more equal and more dispersed and more representation that's important yeah but this is 2023 so so it has How taken a little too long. We're going to have to wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've settled. At a young age, where did you where did you find the most struggle? My very, very, very first piece of art was when I, my twin sister and I were two years old, and we painted the bedroom wall using my mother's brand new shoes with a bunch of baby shit. <laughs> oh my God! It was not happy. I can imagine. So basically, you're telling me that shit rolls downhill, <laughs> and you passed it on to your kids, correct? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, it's called karma. Karma. Ah, I see. I think I understand this. And so you are a twin. Is that correct? 
Yeah. And you are the oldest of how many siblings altogether? Well, I'm not the oldest. My twin sister is six minutes older and always will be. And is it true that yeah. your your mother often would uh, give you a couple cookies to go give to your sister and you, being the younger twin and always wanting to have just a little bit more, would take a bite of the cookie and then give that bitten cookie to your twin sister? Is that correct? No. I would really? take a bite out of each cookie. <laughs> you wicked evil monsters. So smart. You guys sound like a, a lovely little pair of children. Is it true that you also have a set of twins grandchildren? Yes, I do. I know it's where it came from. It's called Divine Justice. Divine Justice. So you, a oh, twin, yeah. passed on yeah. the bullshit to one of your children to deal with. Absolutely. Our producers have, um, I, I just want to be delicate, okay, in, in how we approach this. So our producers have uncovered some information. It, it seems that one of your children at five may have stolen a piece of caramel from the store <laughs> and oh you mean when, I, mean when arrested I arrested her and you being a police officer arrested this five-year-old child fingerprinted this child booked this child and placed this child behind black cold bars with nothing but a cot and a toilet and a sink is this correct yeah. So as I was saying, you um, you know, My it's been done. so it's been a joy having you here on the show. It has been truly magnificent, and we have learned a lot from this lovely specimen of Boomer right here. And honestly, it's really good to share and be a, a Boomer and a Gen X sharing with some of the millennials and the Gen Zs that are watching. It's important that we all realize we're all the same. We may be different ages, or you know, different genders or different tastes, but we're all human beings and. In that, we all need love and compassion, acceptance and tolerance. Let's not have a distance between those generations. It's important to stay connected and bridge those gaps. We will work together better when we do that. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Gangster Gammy. And remember, swim safe, everyone. Swim safe. <laughs> Goodbye. So I understand that you would like to have an interview on the Big Bad Shark Show. I did talk with my casting director, uh, Gina Maru, and she said that you would like to come on the show and promote your art. Is that correct? Well, uh, sure. So I do that. It's a little difficult without having them here. Right. I understand. That's an easy fix. You send a couple of uh, photographs of those to our producers. We can include those in our interview. So I, I think this sounds like a lovely idea. Sure. Yeah. Um, um, you know, and I, of course, I don't want anybody to think there's any preferential treatment whatsoever. So um, I think that moving forward as we go through this interview, well, I think it's I very... Well, preferential. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, well listen, I'm I... old. Well, <laughs> I'm old as ball sack, so let's just move on with that. That doesn't automatically give you any kind of privilege, okay? It so absolutely does. <laughs> <laughs> let's just make it clear uh, that, uh, that we don't want any nepotism rumors. So let's just, you <laughs> okay. know... Okay. Keep it, keep it on the down low that you are my mother, and uh, and mm -hmm. I will allow this. Um, of course, this is a, a paid interview. You are paying for the opportunity to be on my show. Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I will need you to sign this non-disclosure agreement on me. Listen, if you can't take me seriously, I mean... <laughs> I, I can't pay you. I can't pay attention. <laughs> It was oh, really the yeah. toilet that scared me the most. If you want to get tanned. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah that was, if, it, the whole thing scared me, and I was anybody, on the other side of the bars. Anybody that could walk by could see you go potty on that toilet. Never stole again, did you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, didn't even give my camera to f***ing work. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Stay. Oh, is that why you're waving your Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go to the studio, shall we? Follow me. You're so oh, my camera. I can't, I can't. See anything. Mom, just pretend. I have to do it in post edit. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Nice. nice. Okay, thanks. Good. I made it myself. I all of a sudden have a craving for, for fava beans in a bottle of Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Right. It's called Use Your Imagination. Apparently, you weren't watching you Mr. Rogers enough. 
Give me a second to find something appropriate to say. Let me let me take you around the office. Um, so as you can see, this is my office, and I too uh, dabble in the arts. Uh, let me show you around some of my collection. This right here, our slogan, "Swim Safe Everyone." Your motivational wall. Yeah, this is our BBS mission statement: strive for health and healing through laughter and togetherness. And then, of course, we've got you know inspiration that's important for the Big Bad Chart Productions. Of course, this one: be the beacon of light that guides others to shore. You know, things like that are really important here at the Big Bad Shark Productions. And of course, I can say that with 100%. Well, you're going to bounce those boobies up and down. Okay. I'm so I them while I can see them. Do you want some water? No. We, we provide it for all of our guests. I just need guests. to take a drink of water. Oh, yeah, that's what we offer. Hey, There's some water right there on the count. It's it's chamomile and lavender water. It's not drugs. We don't like to drug our people. All right, let's go to the studio, shall we? Mom, I need you to stop bouncing your boobies. We're going to do the show you can edit it jesus you're no different than bush pig i swear to god you two you guys could be like bffs cute <laughs> all right i forgot we didn't even need to go there's no door let's get the <laughs> love this tour i'm gonna book this for my friends <laughs> please leave a rating hey you did a great job we did it thank you we don't have to cut out hardly any of that hardly any of it your hand yep. controller is a mouse and then when you get over the right spot is it'll light up blue so if you think about like okay. there's a force your mouse is like a force <laughs> Exactly. And then you're going to use... Basically, I'm going to ask you some questions and you answer honestly, as honest as you want. If there's anything that makes you feel uncomfortable that you don't want to talk about, just simply say, you know, I'd rather not discuss that. And we will just edit that part out of the interview, Mrs. Gammy. Okay. That's, that's gangsta Gammy. Okay, I, listen, you might get it to work. Come over here. All right. There's, I just got turned around. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Right. I've never heard of you. Are, that's great. Right here. Okay. Don't make okay. Me move. I'm not going to make you move. Can you hear me? All right. Have Can a seat you hear again. Me? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to start the show? All right. Where do I look? My camera is right there. Perfect. You look at that. I look at that. Yes. I am so, so sorry. Our producers <laughs> reassured me that it was Gammy. My apologies. I will have them dealt with immediately. Don't fire worry. them. No, I will not fire them. We do rehabilitation here. Good Properly rehab. We don't need love. And we use science. Concrete science. <laughs> that works every time. I love that. I love where that's going. Okay. All right. We have lavender chamomile water for you to help relax you. I'm you, pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start now. Now, do I need to be on my best behavior? I think that's really up to you. Um, you do what you're comfortable with. And right. Is there you, a line? Will, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a line. Okay. There's a lot of lines. But um, you'll know when you okay. cross it. Okay. So, fair <laughs> I figured. Welcome to the... Wait. I think I screwed that up. Welcome. 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 I don't... <laughs> This is getting worse. Well, just okay. This is so cool. It just feels like you're right here. Well, you know, I am. It's like a phone call. You know, phones, they're a marvel invention. They came around right around the time you were born. Sure, are you praying? I am f***ing trying to get a hold of myself. Jesus Christ. Just do this. What, bounce my boobs? What are you doing? It just loosens up your airway. Okay. <laughs> doing no doubt. Okay, here we go. Ready, everybody? And welcome. Oh shit, I just dumped your f***ing water and I don't know where the hell my coffee went. Uh, did you see my coffee? Coffee? Come here, coffee, coffee. No. We're gonna forget the coffee, okay? <laughs> We're gonna forget the coffee. It doesn't, it's not important anymore. Not everybody has children that hit them with cereal bowls across the bridge of their nose because we don't they're need hungry. To. Listen. <laughs> Wait, we don't need to go there. It's not necessary. It's really not productive to this conversation at this point anymore. Okay, let's not. <laughs> Mom, your no, favorite child is the big bad shark. Big bad shark can do no wrong. The big bad shark is perfect. Okay. It's Gina Maru, well, the casting director that needs short... discipline. Look in the camera and say, I love the big bad shark show. Well, I do I love do the big love bad shark show. Okay, great. Good job. Now I say, I, I will not allow her Oh my god. Why the hell <laughs> won't you do what I say? Everybody else does what I say. Why don't you do what I say? We look forward to having you back again. Is this a tattoo? You don't remember getting it? Right here? Were you drunk? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, don't don't fuck with anything in the studio on the way out. I'm not fucking with anything. How do I get out of here? You just get up and go. Go. Get I'm up done. and you can go. I'm done with you. <laughs> you can go. So thank you for again for being here. And wait, this is all wrong. Let me try this. Start over. Dancing on the table. What are you gonna do about it? Tell me no. Fuck you. It's my studio. <laughs> oh, give me some time, oh, Pepsi. <laughs> Bye, All Mom. right, honey. Well, it was fun, and I'll talk to you later. All right. I love you. Bye. Love you.
you too. Bye bye.